How will Toyota tackle Tesla when it arrives? With a slew of new manufacturing technologies set to launch in the next few years, Toyota is updating its renowned production system in an attempt to compete with Tesla in the EV race. Changing the future with BEVs, according to Takeru Kato, is the aim of the EV development division. On October 25th, just before 11 a.m., the nation's premier auto spectacle, the Japan Mobility Show, got underway in Tokyo. A large group of people had already gathered around one booth, waiting for a press conference, including Toyota Motor CEO Koji Sato. One man, wearing a subdued navy blue suit and tie, appeared from backstage unannounced and seated himself in the audience. It seems that very few people in attendance knew that he was Wang Chuanfu, the brains behind BYD, the greatest rival of Tesla and one of the biggest producers of electric vehicles worldwide. One BYD media relations officer started cheering as soon as he showed up, but since no one else did, it ended awkwardly. China is now poised to reap the benefits of structural change in the energy industry. China's automotive sector has long been known for its low exports, but this year marks the first time that the nation is exporting more automobiles than it is importing. In the first quarter of 2023, China overtook Japan as the world's largest auto exporter, despite the fact that this figure includes foreign cars made in China, thanks to a substantial rise in EV exports. The biggest automaker in the world leads in hybrid car sales, but has lagged behind in selling all electric cars, which has alienated some consumers and reduced sales. Like millions of other people, Rachel Kulin saw herself as a devoted fan of Toyota because of the brand's dependable and fuel-efficient hybrid vehicles. However, she just replaced her Toyota Prius with an electric Chevrolet Bolt since the Japanese automaker had been supplying electric cars too slowly. Where are the options for Toyota enthusiasts? Mesa, Arizona, resident Ms. Kulin stated, really, it's sad. Toyota used to be the top brand for drivers who were concerned about the environment, but it has struggled to adapt to shifting consumer demands and international pressure to drastically cut down on the combustion of fossil fuels, which is the primary source of climate change. The business issue the corporation and the Japanese auto industry are facing is the largest one they have faced since rising to prominence globally in the 1980s. Whether they stay at the top of the auto business or fade into obscurity may depend on how they react. The largest car maker in the world, Toyota, serves as the backbone of the nation's sizable auto sector. It has ties to minor automakers like Mazda and Subaru and has a great deal of sway over legislators and business associations. The corporation employs up to 30,000 people across Kentucky, Indiana, Texas, and other states, making it one of the biggest employers in the country. Its business choices may have a significant impact on the environment and the economy. Toyota led the way in developing hybrid vehicles, which combine an electric motor and battery to increase fuel economy and reduce pollution more than any other well-known automaker. However, after placing a large bet on hybrids, it has gradually shifted to zero-emission vehicles. This has given Tesla and BYD, a Chinese automaker, the opportunity to threaten Toyota's hegemony by providing enticing and reasonably priced battery electric vehicles. Toyota's sales have decreased in China, and it has lost market share in the US. Japanese automakers have experience in this market. However, the rebels were there the last time. Americans started swapping out their gas-guzzling automobiles for smaller, more fuel-efficient Japanese models in the 1970s, as gasoline prices skyrocketed, upending the dominance of General Motors, Ford Motor, and Chrysler. The Toyota Way, or Toyota Method, was copied by numerous factories, and Toyota's manufacturing processes came to be associated with efficiency in manufacturing. Toyota is the one learning from competitors these days. The business is implementing Tesla's strategies. It has partnered with BYD in China with the intention of acquiring its battery and electric motor technologies. Senior research fellow Sanshiro Fukao of the Itochu Research Institute stated that the battle has changed and that the Japanese auto industry in particular has been very slow to act. It's possible that Toyota can no longer take its time the world's leading manufacturers were completely unprepared for the milestone that the global vehicle market reached during the epidemic. According to market research firm ID TechX, 
sales of electric vehicles increased by about 70% to 7.7 million in 2022, exceeding hybrid electric vehicle sales for the first time due to a sharp increase in demand in China. Toyota made $8.9 billion in the quarter that concluded on June 30th and is still very lucrative. It sold 10.5 million cars last year, which is eight times more than Tesla did. However, less than 1% of the automobiles it sold were entirely electric. The largest auto market in the world, China, has suffered greatly from the lack of electric cars. Toyota's sales in China decreased by more than 15% in July compared to the same month last year. Toyota's sales have grown in the US, but not as much as those of other automakers. According to market research firm Cox Automotive, the company's share of the passenger car market decreased from 15.1% to 13.8% between June and August of last year. For other Japanese automakers like Honda, Mazda, and Subaru, the narrative is essentially the same. Nissan, which started selling the Leaf electric vehicle in 2010, has lagged behind and hasn't been able to create a vehicle that can compete with Tesla's Model 3 in terms of performance, design, or range. During the first half of the year, Nissan held less than 2% of the U.S. market share for electric cars. It anticipates a nearly 25% decline in sales in China for the current fiscal year. The 20 biggest automakers were ranked by the nonprofit International Council on Clean Transportation in May, based on how close they were to achieving zero emissions. Out of the six corporations that received the lowest marks, Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Mazda, and Suzuki were all Japanese companies. According to Christopher Richter, senior research analyst at investment firm CLSA, foreign automakers in China built electric cars that were more likely to appease authorities than to win over customers. Toyota has implicitly admitted that it is now far behind BYD and Tesla. It was widely believed that Toyota required new leadership to handle the auto industry's evolution when the firm announced in January that its scion, Akio Toyota, would be stepping down as CEO. Tatsuya Otani, a journalist who has spent decades reporting on the Japanese auto industry, said that the Shanghai Auto Show in April added to the sense of urgency. Chinese cars at the event included entertainment systems and onboard controls that made them resemble iPhones on wheels rather than conventional automobiles. According to Mr. Otani, Japanese executives were astounded to see how far their Chinese competitors had come. Executives from Toyota declined to participate in interviews. The BZ4X, a sport utility vehicle that the manufacturer recalled last year due to defective nuts that may cause the wheels to fall off, an embarrassing error, is the only all-electric Toyota car that is sold in the United States. That's all for today. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also, express your valuable thoughts in the comment section below. Until then, bye. Also, spend some time watching other videos on the channel.